We've pulled this V8 engine out of a Ford truck and removed the major front end accessory components to make it easy to follow along as we install new timing chains. We'll be using Deco Kit KTC 1335, which includes all timing chain components needed for this job. Plus, we have our tools ready to go. You'll need a valve spring compressor, a crankshaft holding tool, and a cam phaser locking tool. Remove the spark plugs to ease engine rotation. Then, remove the valve covers, the harmonic balancer, and the engine front cover, and we'll get started. Take the crank sensor ring out of the crankshaft. Position the crankshaft keyway at the 12 o'clock position. If the lobes of the crankshaft are not exactly positioned as shown, the crankshaft will require one additional rotation to 12 o'clock. The number one cylinder camshaft exhaust lobe must be coming up on the exhaust stroke. You'll need to verify by checking the position of the two intake camshaft lobes and the exhaust lobe on the number one cylinder. The next step is to mark all the components in their original position if you are intending to reinstall since they have to go back exactly as they were or damage can occur. Then, remove three of the camshaft roller followers as shown on the cylinder head on the right bank using the valve spring compressor. Warning: Make sure the valve keepers don't fall off during this process, or the valve may drop into the cylinder. If this happens, the cylinder head must be removed. Move to the left bank and follow the same procedure and cautions noted. Carefully mark and then remove only the three camshaft roller followers indicated by our technician on the left bank cylinder head. Please note that the crankshaft cannot be moved past the 6 o'clock position once set or you risk engine damage. So carefully rotate the crankshaft clockwise and position the keyway right at 6. Now remove the tensioner on the left bank by unscrewing the two bolts. Then take off the tensioner and the tensioner arm. Do the same on the right bank. Unscrew the two bolts, then remove the tensioner and tensioner arm. Remove the right bank timing chain from the camshaft sprocket and then from the crankshaft sprocket. Once complete, take the chain off the left bank, also removing it from the camshaft sprocket first. The next step is to take off the timing chain guides on both sides. Now it's time to grab the cam phaser locking tool. You'll need it to remove the cam phaser bolt and the camshaft phaser. Be careful not to mishandle or use as a leveraging device, or damage could result. Discard the phaser bolts, as they are torqued to yield and cannot be reused. Using the tool again, remove the cam phaser bolt and the left bank camshaft phaser. Only a hand tool should be used to remove the camshaft phaser. Next, Ford recommends removing the cam bearing caps, cam followers, and camshafts so you can inspect them for wear. Ford recommends this procedure to ensure these parts are in serviceable condition. For ease of instruction and so we can focus on the timing chain kit installation, we will not be doing this step, but do recommend this procedure be carried out on customer vehicles. Finally, all key components are out of the way and it's time to move on to the installation phase. Now is a good time to inspect the oil feed port and to clean the tensioner mating services on the cylinder heads. Position the camshaft phaser on both the left and the right banks, installing new bolts, and tighten by hand. Use the cam phaser locking tool to finish tightening the left and right bank phaser bolts in two steps. One, tighten to 30 foot-pounds. Two, turn an additional 90 degrees. Position the crankshaft with the crankshaft holding tool, then remove the tool. Check the new chain. You'll notice there are two links on one side and one link on the other. These are your timing marks. Install the crankshaft sprocket, making sure the flange faces forward. 
Place the left bank and right bank timing chain guides as well as the accompanying bolts and tighten to 89 inch-pounds. Position the lower end of the left bank inner timing chain on the crankshaft sprocket, aligning the timing mark on its outer flange with the marked single link on the chain. Arrange the timing chain on the camshaft phaser with the timing marked position between the two colored chain links, making sure the upper half of the chain is below the tensioner arm dowel. Locate the bump near the dowel hole of the left bank timing chain tensioner arm. Then, position it on the dowel pin and install the left bank timing chain tensioner and two bolts with new gaskets. Tighten each bolt to 18 foot-pounds. Verify the alignment and then remove the retaining clip from the tensioner. Moving on, position the lower end of the right bank timing chain on the crankshaft sprocket, aligning its timing mark with the single colored chain link. Position the right bank timing chain on the camshaft phaser. The timing mark should be positioned between the two marked chain links. Verify that the lower half of the timing chain is positioned above the tensioner arm dowel. Situate the right bank timing chain tensioner arm on the dowel pin. Then place the tensioner on with two bolts and new gaskets, and then tighten to 18 foot-pounds. Once set, verify the alignment is correct. Then take out the tensioner's retaining clip. As a post check, verify correct alignment of all timing marks and then install the crankshaft sensor ring on the crankshaft. Lubricate the camshaft roller followers with clean OE recommended oil. Then install all of them in their exact locations using the valve spring compressor. You can now install the engine front cover and valve covers and call this job done. Great work.